Hey everybody, John here, coming to you from a hotel in the suburbs of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where my friend Fred is going to be picking me up shortly, and we're going to go over near Hamilton, Ontario, and check out some trails there. So, pardon my shouting over the traffic noise. There's a busy highway right beside us, but uh, pretty soon, the sounds of traffic should be replaced by the sounds of waterfalls, Fred tells me. So, can't wait. Hey, there he is. What service? Okay, where are we, Fred? We're at the Limehouse, Ontario. I didn't happen to uh, grab a walking stick I've been using lately, so you know works, right? you've got an extra trekking pole. All right. So this is the Bruce Trail. So this is the main trail, the White Place. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna hook up with the Blue Trail. So you were telling me about the Bruce Trail. It's uh, about so 900 this, kilometers. 900, end to 900 end. plus end to end. Mm -hmm. Starts from Niagara, which is this way. Yeah. All the way to Tobermory on Lake Huron. Right. It's that way. Okay. Nine. Nine clubs service, nine sections. And you've done five of those sections, he said. I've done five, yeah. Yeah. So the ones left are the hard ones. The harder ones. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we are here. So we're going to go in this way. And then through the hole in the wall. And then do the side black rig side trail i'll come back to the spot here sounds great now the the bruce trail um wh where does it go from where we just parked does it continue on someplace well bruce trail continues this way right but it but doesn't it go it goes farther oh, yeah. on someplace right so how do you well from uh, here it goes to tobermory okay and then so from it's, here goes to Niagara. it's just not showing the trail no, it crosses show the tracks the and goes out this way. Just okay. The section, yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's do it. This is called the powder house, where they kept the gunpowder uh -huh. for blasting off the rock. Oh, this looks like a jail. I'm solid. Yep. Hmm. Circa 1850. Let me take a look right over here. Huh. Hmm. Little stream there. Water's not moving much. It looks a little bit stagnant there. They put the lime from the top. Yeah. When they heat it up, the carbon dioxide comes out of the lime. So it leaves the carbon dioxide, which is lime, mm -hmm. and the white, green stuff. And they pull it out from the bottom.
Interesting, the old stone bridge there. Imagine hiking across that. So we're going that away, and when we return, we'll be on the Black Creek side trail and come back to this point here. This way. We came this far. Yep. Come climb up the hole in the wall. Split. Go to the Black Creek side trail, and then come up. Sounds great. And I see that that one is blue blazed. Yeah, that's a blue one. Yeah. The next blue we're going to take. Tell us. Approaching what they call hole in the wall. So if you take a left here, you could go down there and looks like around the corner. It's not clear how far you could go. Is there a blaze oh. on this trail? <laughs> no. Is there, is no. there a blaze on this tree? There, there's no blaze. Wait, on that tree right there? No. No. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think I'm not going to try that, but um, it is doable. I could get down there if I wanted to work do the work to get right down to there but yeah you could explore over there i guess a person could squeeze right through there and explore what lies beyond and then it looks like fred is gonna go up there what do you see up there fred anything yeah the trail yeah the trail trail continues that way so the trail goes around this way and then does it end up at the top there yeah it goes up and then keeps going okay yeah Are we gonna go that way? Should I come up there and? Yeah, come on. Okay. Let's go this way. To here and now we navigate this way
here's the view from above. You gotta come up the stairs as well. So we have to jump across this cut. So if we had stayed on the trail, we would have come up this set of steps here. Yeah, so I didn't want to point the camera down there because there are people, but uh, it looks like you come through this split in the rock there, and then there are two ladder-type uh, stairways, one there and then one that you see the top of right here. So, but the way we chose wasn't too bad. And now the trail on the continues back. on that way. So you took that route. I see another one right here to take. Yeah. Never seen ropes like this on a Pennsylvania trail, Fred. Oh. Too many people fall that way. Quite a few people out here, at least on, you know, this part of the trail. Okay, now we've come to the Black Creek Trail. So I guess we're going to turn off the Bruce Trail here, huh? Well, it's a side trail, yeah. Yep. And then around Visa Way and back. So we've done 1.2 and we have 1.6 to go. That's been a plus, mm -hmm. a bit extra. Yeah, okay. There's Black Creek down below us. Not a very good view, but it's going to come down to it. Okay. Yeah. So the trail will bring us to it shortly. Oh wow, Fred! If camping were allowed, this would be a sweet mm -hmm. yeah. spot. For sure. Camping not allowed here. Right next to Black Creek. It's a perfect spot. I'm Yeah, look at this. Perfect. Perfect for tent campers. Yeah. I don't know about a hammock camper. Not sure what to look for with trees, but over there looks like you'd have options. But it's not allowed. So you said when people through hike the Bruce Trail, there's no camping allowed anywhere no. along it, right? No. So people have to do Airbnbs or, Airbnb or whatever. Or, or a conservation area campsites. They have conservation area yeah, campsites? Access, okay. Yeah. Are those off the trail? They're marked on like, the map. Okay. Hmm. So logistically it would be something you definitely have to plan, plan ahead. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. When, you're yeah. Doing, yeah. when you did section, have you done a full section at once that took you several days? Uh, it took us... Yeah, because two consecutive weekends or three consecutive days. Oh, but you didn't do it all in a several day period where you had overnight, where no, you had to stay no, overnight someplace. No. Okay. Well, we stayed overnight, but we stayed at uh, we went at the Niagara section. It's 92 kilometers, so we did it in three days. We stayed at uh, Brock University. Oh, okay. So they rent rooms yeah. in there. Looks like we're coming to a junction. Are we teeing back into the Bruce Trail? Yes, we are. All right, so yeah, this with the thing over it would show the trail ending. All right, back to the junction with the Bruce Trail. And then a little bit more and we're done.
comes one of those four-footed hikers. Hi, how are you? Hi. Oh, you yeah, she's a good doggy. Don't jump, don't jump. Another little doggy. Oh, hello there. How you doing? Here's your doggy. All right, we made it back. Very good. So next stop, we're going over the Hamilton area. Check out some waterfalls. No, we're going to climb over to our wells well through Canada Goose yeah. side trail, 4.7 kilometers. Where does that go? I wonder from here. Does it cross the bridge and go over there somewhere? And I guess if you're continuing on the Bruce Trail, you go over there somewhere. Maybe signs tell you or, or you would have a map. So this is Glen Williams, Ontario. Fred and I are gonna have lunch at the Copper Kettle. Mahi Mahi tuna sandwich. The Credit River. The Credit River. Well known, famous Credit River. Oh yeah? And further down it's called Fox of the Credit, it's good. Uh-huh. And it's a really nice trail. Usually it flows like really rushes. Yeah. I guess after spring snow melts, it's probably a raging river. Yeah, snow river. melts huh? the best time, yeah, to yeah. see it. I see we got some beach goers over here. Yeah. Fred treated me to lunch at the Copper Kettle. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was fantastic. nice. Fantastic. We both had the uh, lemon mahi-mahi tuna sandwich. That was very good. With a salad comes with it. Fantastic. And split some spicy, spicy crab cakes as well. Good some stuff. And for some refreshments, not to mention. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> actually, it's shallow enough now with the water so low, you could ford you it. Just put your feet in, yeah? you, you could actually ford across it if you needed to. Yeah. There's a uh, stream uh, that I know of in Pennsylvania uh -huh. called Kettle Creek, and there's a 94 mile trail, so about wow. 100, 150 kilometers, uh -huh. called the Donut Hill Trail that used to go across, you had to ford Kettle Creek, and it was almost as wide as this right here. Um, but in the spring, when it's high, it can be really Rough. raging. Yeah, yeah. And so they, um, yeah. they they built an alternate route so that you could cross oh, on a floods, road bridge. Oh, floods the trail? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, I remember when I told most, you the story when we went to Pennsylvania, they wouldn't let us go on the trails. It was just a river. Uh -huh. on the trails yeah coming down the mountain like, yeah I yeah believe it. that yeah that happens too yeah. uh, runoff channel just takes over the trail and yeah. you know, washes it out so the Bruce trail goes up that way and I'm not sure if it comes down to here or not but now we're headed toward Tiffany Falls I think we want this blue blaze trail so Fred just dropped me off and said, uh, go ahead and, and go down there and take a look and come back because um, the parking lot today is full of cars and he was having trouble actually getting a spot. So he said, why don't you just jump out? I've been there several times, so go ahead. There are lots of people out here today.
guessing the trail was just a half mile or so. Fred didn't actually say, and the sign that I looked at back there didn't say either. But he did indicate that it wasn't very far, just out and back to, to the falls. Tiffany Falls. Here's what it looks like in the winter. Climb up it. I imagine the flow is not that great right now. It's probably greater in the spring. You can see that the stream at the bottom of the falls is uh, not, not exactly swollen. I came this far, might as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you made it out anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, spring thaw. There's not more water. Yeah. It was... And the winter it freezes. Mm-hmm. And it's one of the few that you're allowed to climb. Yeah. There's a picture of a guy uh, yeah. on the sign up there. A picture of a guy climbing. The frozen falls. 